So normal skeletal mechanics with inhalation, with taking breath in. So diaphragm drops, the pleural pressure, the pressure in my lung, in my thoracic cavity decreases. That allows pressure moves from high to low. So air comes in and pressurizes my thoracic cavity. As my diaphragm is dropping down, then it's going to create, create pressure. It's going to push my guts down into the pelvic cavity. For that to occur appropriately, we need, a, we need expansion of the posterior mediastinum. I need a pump handling of my, my uh, true ribs on the sternum here. And I need, we can't look, quite tell from this angle here, it's a side angle, but my, I should get a bucket handle of my false ribs. So they kind of come out in this position here. So anteriorly, I get the pump handle. On the side here, I get this bucket handle. Posteriorly, in the posterior mediastinum, my thoracic curve should, should kyphose or should increase. I'm getting a, a slight decrease in my lumbar lordosis, and then here I get an actual counter nutation of my sacrum, which looks kind of like this, here. For that to occur, I also get an anterior rotation of my anominates, so that flexion, abduction, external rotation, anterior rotation, not tilt.